to Teotihuacan. I'm at the uh, station of Autobuses of the North, Autobuses del Norte. The station is very big, so um, if you're going to Teotihuacan, look for gate 7 or 8, because that's where they sell the tickets for the buses. I paid 100 pesos for a return ticket, so um, that's about $5 to get to uh, the permits and back. I have to hurry to get on the bus, but um, I will continue filming when we get close to the permits. All right, so I made it to uh, Teotihuacan. Um, the bus took about an hour, and they drop you off here. The um, pickup is on the other side. I got my tickets. It's uh, it's 70, uh, 70 pesos to get in, and uh, 45 pesos extra if you want to film. So just got an extra ticket. That's 115 pesos, and that is about um, six dollars. So not bad at all. And um, you have to walk, I think, about five to ten minutes. And all there is right now is a parking lot. People sign, uh, trying to sell you stuff. So just gonna continue filming when I get to the main area. So just walked about 200 meters, and um, I just checked the tickets. Um, so you can see there's some shops here. Um, it's pretty much the same stuff you can find in the city. So there's nothing here. Um, they have t-shirts of course, but everything else you can find the same stuff in the city. So this is the first impression that you get. This is huge. Um, serpent and you can see a much older temple right here um, it has a lot more detail 
and all the other ones. And that thing, where you can see in the back is the Sun Temple. So I'm gonna walk all the way down to the Sun Temple. This area is very big, it's huge. And um, a guy just fell down the stairs. The stairs are very steep, you know, like most old temples in Central America, South America. Um, the stairs are really steep. A guy just fell down, so you have to be really careful. Also, um, because this place is on 2300 meters, um, the altitude makes it a little bit harder to climb up all the steps and get back down. And so when you come here, just make sure you know that you watch your step, otherwise you will end up in hospital in Mexico and that's not too much fun, I guess. Um, because this place is so huge, I'm not gonna film my whole tour here because uh, I think it might be boring for anyone at home watching a video of uh, someone just walking down even though there's a pyramid at the end of the street so I see you guys once I get to the pyramid so this is the Ebony of the Dead um, I don't think that any video or picture could do this place justice. So if you can um, come to Mexico, uh, go to Mexico City, spend a couple of days in the city and here, and it's totally worth it. So once you're in Mexico, everything is really cheap. So you just have to try to find a cheap flight. And I'm um, just gonna video now all the way down to the pyramids. And I would probably either edit it out later if it looks too boring or put some music um, under the video I just made it halfway down to the Sun and the Moon Parrot Pyramid. The Sun Pyramid is right behind me, the other one. Um, it's still the same distance. It took me about half an hour because um, of the altitude. You just keep walking slower and because of the steps being so high, it takes quite a while. But um, although I'm still quite a bit away, it looks very, very impressive even from a distance. You can see the um, pyramid right here. And on the other side, like on the on the side of the main the main road, um, there are more stalls of vendors. The vendors here are super chill. Um, most of them they don't even approach you at all. And if they talk to you, they just talk to you once. They don't follow you or anything. So everything here is very relaxed. And um, this might be your only chance when you're here to find water. Otherwise, make sure to bring a lot of water and buy the water in the city because it will be a lot cheaper.
so no water here um, yeah that means better bring a lot of water when you come here you're gonna be here for two hours at least maybe three hours um, so yeah bring two bottles of water because they might sell water on the bus here but it's only small bottles um, okay I gotta keep on walking to the pyramids All right so this is the um, temple of the moon and the temple of the moon plaza um, I'm gonna walk up there in a minute take more videos of course still a lot of breath from walking um, what you can see in the background the big pyramid that's the um, pyramid of the Sun all the way down towards the end is where I started filming uh, in city blocks probably 20 city blocks 15 I don't know so it's quite a walk um, and it's difficult because of the altitude usually it's not a problem to walk 20 blocks um, today is not too busy because yesterday was Sunday and on Sundays um, it's free for Mexican citizens to visit so you will mostly have tourists here today but it's not busy at all I actually did find water so you don't really have to bring water and uh, it's uh, I paid a dollar twenty cents for a liter and a half of water and uh, bought some nice fake Ray-Bans for four dollars so that's a decent deal as well all right so let's climb um, the pyramid I would film climbing but I uh, gotta be sort of breath um, I'm just gonna climb up there try to keep my balance too because um, like I said someone already fell off the stairs and hurt his leg real bad okay, so I made it on top of the moon temple and it's uh, the moon and the sun temple are much steeper than the other one so uh, like I said before, you have to be really careful climbing up and down. There are lots of people here. Um, the view is amazing, as you can see. And it started all the way in the back. And like I said, it takes about half an hour or more to walk all the way down here. Where you can see where the people are standing. If you clap your hands, there's gonna be an echo, and they built it on purpose for um, rituals. All right, so we're gonna walk to the, um, the Sun Temple over there. It's gonna take me a while to walk all the way back there, and it's gonna take me even longer to climb up there. I'm in front of the um, Sun Pyramid and this is kind of like the center of the whole complex. Um, just behind, as you can see, where the street vendors are. I went there earlier. If you walk all the way down, um, this is where your bus will pick you up uh, to go back to Mexico City. So uh, they drop you off at one point and the pickup is further down. So you don't have to walk all the way back, just so that you know that. Because the um, the bus driver will not tell you and the people who sell the tickets at the station will not tell you either. Okay, so let's climb this beast, uh, see how long it takes me to get up there. But the easiest way is to put all your gear in your backpack and use both of your hands to make it up there. It's faster and you can keep your balance easier. Alright, so let's see. So I only made it uh, third way up. This is the busiest part of the whole complex, so lots of people are climbing up there. And, um, you can see how much further up it goes, and the, the very top you can't even see because it's so steep and so far up. And um, it's probably gonna be about 20 minutes to make it up there, Inclu uh, probably not including breaks, but you get a very good view as you can see. Okay, so um, I was just up there, and I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> I only made it one third up the way. And um, yeah, I mean, I had my leg day today, you know, walking all over the place, climbing. Um, even walking down takes a long time because it's so, it's so exhausting. Uh, it's very, the pyramids are steep, steps are very high. Having said that, of course, it's totally worth it going here. Um, just prepared. 
and uh, unlike me, before you go, it's probably a good idea to have breakfast or eat something and to drink some water. So um, I will go back to the bus and um, go back to the city and then just um, see what else I can do in the city.